Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh by Shem El Shai, by Hashem Rukakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners. And to the Akwath that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago coming at you with another lesson. And um, yeah, this is going to be a reading from the book of songs to elevate spirits. You know, this is an exciting time. It really is. We're living in the most exciting times in the history of mankind because so much is happening and so much is about to happen. It's also a frightening and unsettling time. So we have to find our comfort in the scriptures. All right. You're not going to find it anywhere else. All right. You're going to find it in, in this brotherhood and in the scriptures. All right. And I, I thank the Lord every every night in prayer for, for this brotherhood, for the apostles and elders in this, you know, now we know what true family and true brotherhood is really like. All right. And people are searching for it everywhere. You know, you're not going to find it in, in, in anything else, not in the military, not in the Marine Corps, not in the fraternities and the sororities, or, you know, not on Facebook and Instagram. No, you're going to only find that that true love within these scriptures and the, and the men of the Lord that do it. And the people that are connected unto them. All right. This is for the elect, the hopeful elect. We're prisoners of, of, of hope and, and, and you know, and of mercy. So I'm going to read um, out of the book of Psalms, Psalms 106, uh, verses like verses 1 through 6, and maybe a couple other precepts and other scriptures. But that, that Psalms 106, that whole chapter, you know, they remember the Psalms were songs. And I chose uh, the harp because King David played the harp. And a lot of the songs were written by our great king, all right, by, by uh, this true prophet and man of the Lord, this warrior king. Not only was he a king, but he was a warrior king. King David was the greatest warrior to ever walk the face of the earth in the flesh, all right? The Lord endowed him with that gift, with that power, all right? And he's coming back again. All right, under the authority of who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. This is Psalms 106 and 1, and it says, Pray ye, Yahweh. O give thanks unto Yahweh, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Who can utter the mighty acts of Yahweh? Who can show forth all his praise? Blessed are they that keep judgment, and they that do of righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Yahweh, with the favor that thou bearest unto thy people. O visit me with thy salvation. All right. And as a matter of fact, that's I'm gonna I'm gonna run to, run over to uh, Psalms 119 and 132, and it reads, "Look thou upon me and be merciful unto me, as thou used to do." Unto those that love thy name. So we're looking for those great mercies, like the mercies we saw with, you know, with the with the, the three holy children in the furnace. You know, we're looking for that. For that kind of mercy. Right? When when we're surrounded and we're at odds and there's there's no way out um, from their clutch, no way out of their systems. And it is and it's a small thing for the Lord to free us from those. So our 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 uh our faith is going to be tested and pushed to to the to the lamp to the limit to the max. All right, a lot of women, all right, are going to leave you brothers, and and you know, and those few sisters that are, that are going to have that faith to the end, you know, the water you howl for them, but don't ex you know, but like the scripture says, marvel not if she trespass against thee. All right, or or some of uh, you know, or some of the people that you thought you know uh, believed in Yahweh by Shem Shai, that faith is going to fail when he, as Esau begins to clamp down and take away the freedoms and the goodies and the benefits and the checks and the jobs, you know, which is only hurting himself in the long run. But this is the the sacrifice that Esau is willing to do to establish his his new world order, which is going to fail. All right, for the Lord says. When they're about to fill their belly, 
you know, he's going to bring an end to all that, roughly paraphrased. Back to Psalms 106. This is uh, verse 5. That I may see the good of thy chosen, that I may rejoice in the gladness of thy, of thy, of thy nation, that I may glory with thine inheritance. See, and so that's talking about the Israelites. Only thy nation and thine inheritance, and everybody's not a part of that. As a matter of fact, let's go on to uh, Romans, to the book of Romans. See, this is turning into something it wasn't even supposed to be, but the Spirit is the Spirit is guiding. But this is uh, Romans, the ninth chapter, starting at uh, uh, verse 2, and it says, that I have great heaviness, Romans 9 and 2, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Hamashiach, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of power and the promises. Whose are the fathers? And is of whom as concerning the flesh Christ came, who is over all, power be forever. Amen. So the Lord came back for the flesh of the Israelites, who are the only ones who are going to receive the promises, who are the only ones that can serve, who are the only ones that were under the law and given the covenants and the adoption. You can only be brought back. The adopt means to be brought back. You can only be brought back to something that you were once a part of. Going back to the first precept, Psalms 132. I'm sorry, 119 and 132. And it reads, look upon thou, look thou upon me and be merciful unto me as thou used to do according to those that love thy name. All right. And we know that ISUPK don't love the name. And we, why? Because they, they call it, they, they use Christ and Jesus way too much. And we definitely know that IUIC don't love the name. All right? But they most high Christ bless. Talking about if we say the name, people will know what we're talking about. Explain it, idiot. That's what you're supposed to do. Continuing in Psalms 106. We have sinned with our fathers, we have committed iniquity, and we have done wickedly. Our fathers understood not thy wonders in Egypt. They remembered not the multitude of thy mercies, but provoked him at the sea, even at the Red Sea. So how quickly our people forget when the Lord shows them mercies. Like how quickly a woman forgets when her, in her times of need when you're there for her. All right? You know, you help her with bills. You 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 feed her you know you you do you know when when she doesn't have it you re you rescue her rent whatever it is how quickly they forget those things that you do all right and uh like to focus on the things that they don't like but, but you know the same as for Jake same as for a nigger or a spigger all right nevertheless he saved them from for his name's sake that he might make his mighty power to be known. So the Lord was establishing his name. All right. And the same way that the two thirds and the mixed multitude that were with, that were with the Israelites didn't make it into the promised land. The Lord let, let them wander around in 40 years until he got rid of them all. The, the two thirds don't get to go into the kingdom of heaven. The first trip, only the elect is. We're all and we're all in this doing this work, you know, because faith without works is death, man. You can believe all you want. You got no works to show for it. Or you're not uh or you're not supportive of the men that do the work. You, you know, you can pretty much guarantee you're going to be what we refer to um roughly as a, a nutsack Israelite. You're gonna come back through the through the seed, through the sperm of the righteous men who make it. All right, because you're not going to make that first trip. He rebuked the Red Sea also, and he, at, and it was dried up, so led them through the depths as through the wilderness. And he saved them from the hand of him that hated them, 
and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. And so Israel has enemies, great enemies. All right. America is, is Egypt, Babylon and Rome all gathered up to one. And the scriptures clearly say that Edom. All right. When, the, when King David prophesied about Babylon, it said, remember Edom. All right. So Edom is the ruler of the new Babylon, the new Egypt, the new Rome. They're not done away with. Psalm 63, the 63rd chapter, the who the Lord, who the, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ is coming back to a world that's ruled by the wicked, who is Esau, Edom, who is the so-called white man. All right. They are not done away with. That is a lie that Christianity has pushed. OK. I got a precept here. Let me just check it. Bad time. Yeah, this is Exodus 14 and 3, and it reads, For Pharaoh will say of the children of Israel, the sons of Israel, they are entangled in the land and the wilderness have shut them up. And so that's how they're cornering us with pseudoscience, with the threat of Vanessa, all right, with the threat of the waters, with the threat of uh, taking away freedoms that we really don't have. All our freedoms are, are all um, an illusion anyway. And so many Jakes are, want to go back or stay in Egypt. That they're willing to up here or, you know, adhere or, or, or bend over, bend the knee to, to Esau. But stand firm in your convictions. Stand firm in that which you have been taught. All right. Verse 11. And the waters covered their enemy, that there was not one of them left. So the Lord is not going to leave us here. The scripture clearly said he's not going to leave us in Egypt, uh, you know. He's not. So with that, I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakar, Kodash, Ba, 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 Kwam, Yasharah. Shalom.